Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous interactions with some clients, I was pointed out an issue where uh, the company wanted to share documents with their employees. But uh, there are different departments in every company, right? There must be a software department or an HR department, admin, logistics, etc. So they wanted to do that task, but uh, they wanted to share the document with different access types to different departments. So they had around 100 email addresses and uh, 100 employees with 100 email addresses of different departments, right? So they wanted to give the admin department, the editor access of the file, the HR department, the commenter access for the file and the software department with the viewer one. So as you can see in the sheet, the different types of roles with their access types, the admin, HR and software department with the editor access, commenter access and viewer access. And they wanted to share this Google sheet with them. Uh, you can see this is the import HTML uh, function that I've used. Um, if you want to understand how that works, I've created a video on that. I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. So uh, let's move to the problem that they were facing. So they wanted to bulk share this uh, document with their employees. So yeah, doing this manually would be a very difficult task, like going to share, pasting the email address and then changing the viewing type. Like if I type in here, Arin Rani, and I do editor or viewer and stuff like that. It will be a very long and manual process. So that's where the automating Google Apps script comes in. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to bulk share Google Drive files such as Google Forms or even Google Sheets and stuff um, using Google Apps script and the Google Drive app. So let's just get started. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my Google Apps script editor. I'm gonna go to my uh, extensions i'm going to open up the app script editor i'm going to click on app script and in a few seconds the editor will load out so i'm just going to clear this out and i'm going i'm going to be pasting the parameters for this problem that we have so these are the parameters right we have the resource link that is the google sheet that is there i mean the netflix data one so for that you'll have to just uh, copy the link right so it's going to start from after the slash d and end right before the slash edit so I'm just going to change this to that. And this link is already the same, right? So let's go back to the app script editor. And now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be declaring some column, uh, some important uh, variables. So it's going to be var row two, then var column equal to two, after which uh, another column underscore number is going to be equal to five and the last one is going to be call, uh, in oops this has to be row number five and call underscore number equal to one i'll explain you what these parameters or the uh, variables are declared here are for so to get the link of the google sheet now uh, i mean the file link or the file id to be specific i have to access it from here right if you see here i've declared two and two right so it's the second row of the second column if I want to access this specifically. So next time if you have a you want to share a Google form, you don't need to change the code. All you have to do is come here and replace the file ID file link cell with the um, Google Drive file that you have. So I've done that. And after which I want to get the email addresses and their company roles, right? To understand whom to give which access and why. So I'll be starting out by the fifth column and I'll be starting with the first, I mean the fifth row and the first column. So uh, let's just move ahead and write the um, important code that is there that is going to be sharing the access. So I'm going to do give access a create a new function here. And um, we're going to be starting out by getting the Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to do const ss equal to spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and um, after which i'm going to be getting the specific sheet that i want so i'm going to do ss dot get sheet by name inside which i'll be passing the google sheet name as a parameter so i'm just going to copy this out go in here and paste it out here and um, after which i'll be getting the id so i'm going to do sheet dot get range inside which i'll be passing the parameters that i just declared that's going to be capital row and column after which i'm going to be doing get value now, when you do the get value thing, you get two options. One is the get value and the get values. Since this is just one specific cell, I'm just going to be using the get value function. And after which just to check whether we have got the correct link and stuff. So I'm just going to do 
logger dot log id I'm gonna go ahead and click on save i'll just name this project as uh drive access click on rename i'll just go ahead and click on oops i'll just go ahead and click on run Here you can see we have successfully got our link that we had pasted in the Google Sheet. So our parameters and the variables have successfully worked. So let's just move on to the next part of the code that's going to be getting the data. So I'm going to do const uh, range and I'm going to be doing sheet dot get range inside which I'll be passing the row underscore num and column underscore num. So which I'm going to be doing sheet dot get last get last uh, oops, last uh, row right because I'm doing this because you might have endless number of emails and endless number of company rules so I don't want to limit your code to just taking the first six company email addresses like for now I, I don't have 100 email addresses with me as we speak but yeah these are the emails that I have and um, this is the collection right so you might have 100 200 300 employees so the code will work for any number of employees or data that you have in your google sheet after which i'm going to be adding a comma which means i want to st i want the data to enter the second column because i don't have any other data that is there here right after which um, i'll just go ahead and do a logger dot log for my data oops okay right we have just got the range here we need to get the data too right so i'm going to do const data equal to range dot get values this time i'm get i'm doing the dot get values since there are multiple that there is more than one data or more than one cell that we need to print so i'm just going to do logger dot log and i'll be passing my data variable inside it and i'll just comment this out click save let's go ahead and click on run see we have got our data we've got the email address and the company role email address and the company role so our code has successfully worked and uh, let's just move forward the next step that we're going to be doing is getting the file so i'm going to be doing const file equal to drive app this is the app this is the library that we're going to be using and i'll be doing get file by id inside which i'll be passing the id variable and uh, next just to know that we have got every we have got the correct file i'm just going to do, do const type inside which i'll do file dot get mime type this will be giving me the mime type of the file it's going to be the just the type if it is a sheet it's a google form and stuff after which i'm going to be doing another logger dot log i'll be printing out the type and if i get the type i wanted to print another message saying uh, success i think yeah let's go ahead and click on save i will just comment these logger out and i'll just go ahead and click on run here you can see we have successfully got the mime type that's going to be application it's going to be a spreadsheet and we got the success message so our file and the id has successfully been got let's move to the most important part of the code that's going to be giving the roles to the employees that are there so i'm going to be doing a data dot for each inside which i'll be opening a function i'll be doing row comma i and I'll be opening my curly braces, be adding a semicolon, and now we'll be writing the important code. So first I need to get the role, right? To give special accesses to different email addresses, I have to get the roles. So I'm going to do where role one, and I'm going to be doing where uh, email address, email equal to row zero. Why have I done this is because, okay, it's saved. Um, why have I done the one and zero is because this is the zeroth column. This is the first column. We go zero, one, two, three. That's how we access things in the in the for each thing. So uh, just to do a confirmation thing, I'm just gonna do a logger dot log here for the role and a logger dot log for the email. Just to make sure if we have got everything properly, I'll just comment these two logs out. And I'll just go ahead and click on run. Here you can see we have got the role. We have got the email address, the role email address. So if I check whether Arun Rani at the gmail.com is from the HR department, it is. So we have got our roles perfectly. So let's just cancel this out and let's move forward. Uh, now I'm going to be writing some if loops 
for this if the role is equal to admin what kind of access do i want to give them so if it is an admin i want it to be an editor okay i have written up here so if it is an admin i want to give it editor access if it is an hr i want to give it commenter access if it is a software role i want to give it a viewer access so i'll just uh, do uh this is admin just to check if my loops work and the roles work perfect perfectly i'm going to do an else if i'm going to do role equal to uh let's just say hr and i'll just do another logger dot log here um I cancel this okay i'll do a logger dot log here and i will say this is hr and then i'll do another else if and uh, this is the final one i'll do if the role is equal to uh software I wanted to say this is software. Let's go ahead and click on save, and um, let's just go back to my sheet and see how many H I have found two HRs, two softwares, and two admins. So I think I should be getting six outputs of two to each. I'll just go ahead and click on run. Okay, I forgot to comment that out. Wait, I'll just comment these logs. Click on run. Right, I just forgot to write this is software, but yeah, we have got uh, two of this is HR, this is admin, this is admin and software software. So right, our code is working perfectly. Now let's write the final line of code that will be sharing the access. So we'll do file dot when I do add, you can see editor commenters. I want to add an editor. I can and I'll put in and I'll do the email function. I'll pass in email as a parameter. So if the rule is equal to admin, the code will go ahead and add that email address as an editor. If I go to this one and I'll do file dot add and uh, if it is a um, HR, I wanted to give them commenter access, right? And I'll be passing the email address and in the end for the software department, I wanted to give me a file dot uh, add viewer and I want to do viewer go ahead and click on save and i think our code is ready and good to go um i'll be just creating a menu function here if you want to know more about the menu function you can i'll be leaving a video link in the description you can check that out so i will just creating another function called on open this is what this is the typical name that i use for um, creating menus i'll be doing var ui equal to spreadsheet app dot get UI right after oops what's happening yeah so after after this I'll be doing UI dot create menu which is the which will do it and I need to give it a name so if I scroll up here it will tell me the label for the menu right so I need to give a label so I'll just say uh, share access and after which I'll be doing dot uh, add an item and um, i'll so first you to give the caption the string for it and then the function name that you want to run so this is the label for the menu item with the first word guy okay and you can add an item you can you can run it so i won't be explaining too much about menus if you want to learn more i'll be leaving that link in the description and i'll just do run code after which i'll pass the name of the function that's going to be give access and i'll paste it here click on save after which our final line of code is going to be add to UI. I need to add it to my spreadsheet. I'll just go ahead and click on save. And I think we are ready and good to go. So uh, I'll just go ahead and run the code. First, I'll just click on on open and I'll run it and see if it adds the menu to my Google sheet. I'll go back to my sheet. I can see share access and it is showing me run code. So if I just go ahead and click on run code. Okay, it's showing me an error that's saying file dot add commenters. So right, we cannot do commenters. It has to be a commenter because it's going in a for loop. So at a time, it's going to be only taking one email as a parameter, right? So I'll go back, I'll just dismiss this. I'll click on OK. And now if I go ahead and run the code, it's running the script. Here you can see it has finished the script. And if I click on share, 
um sorry i'll just go to the email addresses where it has been shared and i'll just see if it has shared the file with me so i'm just going to go ahead and check if it has shared so i'll be going to the shared email and i'll just see uh, it has been shared in netflix data i'll be clicking on open and i can see i have only the commenters access but if i open up my google sheet and i see hr indrani hr so the hr department only has the commenter access right so i can only comment on this i can just just say add a comment nice data you can click on comment if i go back here uh, if i go to my netflix data you can see there is a comment that has been added nice data by me now if i go to the other email address that has the editor access so that's going to be the admin department with this email i'll open up that email once and i will check if it has shared it with me successfully and here if i open up the email i can see shared with you netflix data and i'll just click on open and i can see i am the editor i can just type in anything here if i go to this one i go back to my main sheet i can see now okay i'll have to just click on enter right i can see that the data they have editor access so this is this is all i think our code has worked successfully and we were able to share custom data with uh, i mean we were able to bulk share google drive files using google apps script with different types of access such as editor commenter and viewer access i'll be leaving the code link and the google sheet link in the description if you want to work with it and if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one